so welcome back to the homestead um we are in the process of doing the the outdoor kitchen i had posted some pictures on instagram um and i had had some other pictures on facebook of the progress from when we first started to where we are right now um you know devin has been has been painting so the idea is the the plywood that goes around here is going to be white and the inside um, is called like chestnut or, or something like along those lines. Um, and it's, you know, going to be kind of two-toned. And it'll really, it'll match the drama marble countertop that he's going to show you guys in a little bit. Um, and so the, the color scheme is, is kind of all there, which is really nice. Like the, the natural colors. And um, the reason why we're not keeping it wood, there's a lot of wood going into this. And it's a lot of it is rough wood. So the stain and the polyurethane, and it, it would just be too much. It's just a lot easier to put some outdoor paint on it and call it a day. So that's what we're doing. Um, it, now, a lot of people on Facebook and, and Instagram when we were posting the pictures have been asking, well, why an outdoor kitchen? Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute. So we're building the outdoor kitchen We uh, on the back of our garage. I know the frame isn't big enough for you to see it. But on the back side of our, or Devin's wood shop, I should say, we don't really use it for a garage, but on the back of the shop, there's a lean-to, and it spans the whole length of the, of the shop. So the roofing is already here. So what's left is just building the frame. So we had talked about a few different ideas that, you know, we would have had for this area. And, you know, as of, you know, for the last two years, Devin's been using it for storage for, you know, some of his machinery or, you know, some, some wood or, you know, animal feed, things like that. Well, one of the other homesteaders on YouTube that we watch, they have an outdoor kitchen um, off grid with Doug and Stacy. And that's a shout out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're homestead homies. Um, so we, uh, so they have an outdoor kitchen and the, you know, they obviously live completely off grid with no power. We have power. We're not completely off grid, but we are trying to be a, a self-sustaining homestead. So one of the things that we want to do and, and achieve is we probably will never be 100% without power. You know, I, I sleep with a BiPAP and there's just certain things that we do need power for, you know, where we live. So, but the more self-sustaining we can be or the more off-grid we can be, the better it is for us. So that's what we're achieving. We're trying to be a fully sustaining homestead. And, you know, having the outdoor kitchen is going to help us use less power in the summertime because a lot of my food preserving can be done out here. Um, now, we're not going to have a refrigerator out here. Uh, I might get like a, a small one. I know they have ones that, that run off of gas. That is always an option as well. Um, but we are going to have a stove out here. Obviously I'm going to need that for cooking in the summertime, but the idea behind it is, you know, we're heating up out here. Um, so we don't have to heat the inside of the house, thus saving electricity because our air conditioner is not going to be running all the time. So there's, you know, a, a few reasons and, you know, methods to the madness of having an outdoor kitchen, you know, uh, let me, let me just jump in real. Let's be for real. All right. Now. I'm country as it gets. She's from the north. When we moved here, you know, she didn't want the wood stove in the house and all that. And well, now we're talking about putting the wood stove back in the house, not my wood stove. We're going <laughs> to get a new one because she sees how well it heats up the garage and it is a money saver. You put in a little bit of work, you save a lot of money. Because as long as our central heat in there does not come on, we're not spending money to heat our house. Right. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I had a bad taste in my mouth about the, the, the wood stoves and the fireplaces because the house we had previously lived in uh, before we bought our homestead was, uh, it had a fireplace. Yes, fireplace. And it was, it you know, every time we would have a fire in there, it would throw dust everywhere. And I mean, it was just a mess. And for people that like to keep a, a, at least a somewhat clean house, it's, you know, it, it's a nightmare for dusting. So... That kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. So when we came out here, I was like, no, 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 I got to get the wood stove out of the house because I don't want the dust. But now, you know, now that, you know, our goals have shifted and our, you know, maybe not so much our goals have shifted, but, you know, we're really leaning more towards being a self-sustaining homestead and more self-sufficient without the use of, you know, power and things like that. 
and, and trying to be more off grid, the wood stove really makes sense. So I, I kind of have to pick and choose my battles here. So what's more important, you know, keeping warm, saving electricity, being more environmentally friendly, or, you know, running, running the power and, and racking up the AC bill, you know, I, I can deal with a little bit of dust. That's, that's not a big deal. So, uh, so that's the plan. So here's, this is where we are with the outdoor kitchen right now. Um, you know, as he was saying, uh, uh, well, he'll say later on in the video, um, he's framed up the windows. He's already got the screen. So we're going to be throwing them in here. Um, and then next thing on the list, I just got paint on my hand. Uh, the next thing on the list is, uh, to, to put the flooring in, get the counters in, and then we are good to go. So, um, so yeah, so we'll check back with some more updates, uh, here, uh, shortly. We'll see you guys. Well, I've uh, been working on the outside kitchen. Um, so I have everything framed up. Uh, this is all material that was from my job. Uh, it's all repurposed. Uh, there's there's pine. There, there's, there's all kinds of wood up in here. All of it's going to be painted. So it's going to all look like one wood. Uh, so anyway... Everything's framed up. I have everything set for the screens, which are right here. These screens will fit inside the opening. And I'm trying to make it look nice. I mean, I am no carpenter. Uh, I'm, I'm no framer or anything like that. Um, I learn as I go. And, you know, what I don't know, I, you know, I'll fake it till I make it. And pretty much everything's been coming out pretty good. Uh, I got a, buddy, a few buddies of mine that are in the industry. I ask advice all the time. I am constantly learning different things. Um, but as my daddy used to say, if it ain't right and you don't like it, well, you can't see it from your house. My wife likes it. That's all that matters. I'm satisfied with it. Um, anyway, I brought out the small island for the countertop, that's going to be up in the corner here. Everything work, uh, fits in perfectly. Um, we got a little bit of paint, painted this wall, uh, which really makes it a little bit brighter up in here uh, because it was just concrete. And with one light, that is an LED light, when it shines off this, this cream color, it's very bright. Uh, so like I said, I'm happy with it. I want to get all the painting done. So when I put the uh, screens in, these screens here I was just going to frame them in to where I can easily take them out anytime I want to um, we got these I'm not entirely sure where we got these but I know I didn't pay anything for them as it stands right now this whole build we're in to two cans of paint all right so can of paint 20 bucks you know $40 you know which is not too bad the flooring we got from our friends up in Henrico um, he had some strand boards, so I decided that I coated one side of it with a um, waterproof at one side, the bottom side, and I'm just going to use it as my subfloor. Um, if it messes up years down the line, I'll pull it right on up and replace it. I don't think it will, though. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, um, like I said, I got some mistakes up in here. I've learned a few uh, a few things uh, on the framing. Um, I've had to use a few pieces here that because I'm running out of two by fours. This this whole build has seriously taxed my two by four supply. Um, so now I'm down to the the very roughest stuff, uh, which of course I don't want to use. Uh, I'll I'll cut it out if I can, but uh, you know I do what I can. But I'll, I'll use a little patch like right here. I had to make a little patch here. I had to make another here, but I still have to frame this door up when we get a screen door not entirely sure if we're going to buy the screen doors or if i'm going to make the screen doors um listening to my wife she's talking about buying the screen doors i don't really care uh if we want to buy the screen doors we can oh and by the way uh we did get a strip of laminate for in front of the countertop uh that cost we got that at a uh a reuse store and that cost us ten dollars if we would have bought it at the Home Depot, it would have cost us like 40 or 50 bucks for the, what we got. Uh, so it was a really good deal on that. 
and we did get some outside carpet which would take up the rest of the space and if I'm not mistaken that cost $20, uh, $20 as well uh, so anyway our goal for this whole build is to come in under $200 um, so far I think that we're gonna we're gonna make it um, now I'll, I'll be getting plywood for the outside bottom pieces here and we're gonna go all the way around and we're also gonna do the top ends minus the screened in areas right there um, we decided to screen in that area here and here for when the summertime so we can let a top breeze come through um, we had the the thin uh, screen so you know if it doesn't work or if it, if it turns out to be a problem I can take any of this stuff out you know it's either put in by screws uh, unless it's the the main uh, load bearing uh, area which really there is no load bearing uh, walls here but uh, the main pieces where the door frame is and where it connects on to the existing 4x4 that's held on by 16 penny nails uh, galvanized 16 penny nails everything else is held on with screws and the smaller stuff, like these strips right here, are held on by brads, 18-gauge um, brads. So if I need to pull this up, no problem. I can come out here, pop it out, and make any repairs that I need. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to make the repairs. Hopefully, I'll be dead and gone if, if anything has to be done with this, and it'll be my son's problem. Let him handle it. Uh, if you want to go inside, we can take a look at the cabinets.